Hello and welcome back to TAW 2016. I am here once again with another episode of Monday Night Raw. And we this is the final Raw before Rage in the Cage. So after the SmackDown episode, the next day should be Rage in the Cage with the Armageddon Hell in a Cell, which I am hoping does really good. We're coming off my best show that I've done ever. Let's hope this one can at least get an 80-something. Let's go. We have I'm starting to add pre-show matches so I can get start getting people booked. I forgot to put an Rusev segment where he's just basically saying I'm crushing people or whatever. Anyway, Ricochet did pretty good in this match. Evan Bourne, I brought Ricochet up for another night. You know, just testing him with both rosters, seeing where he would fit in best in. Miz and Morrison defeat Evan Bourne and Ricochet when John Morrison defeated Ricochet when Moonlight Drive. I'm going to see maybe Team Evan Bourne and Ricochet up again. Maybe, maybe that's a good team to have. All right, Finn Balor defeats Michael Logan. Not that great of a match. Not horrible either. Eh. All righty, in the final pre-show match, um, Rusev wins. Lol. <laughs> Rusev wins. Lol. All right. Ooh, here we go. Big open. The bulletproof are in the ring to start off the show. Tonight, AJ says, tonight is a historic night for the bulletproof because for the past number of months, we have been outnumbered by the Roman Empire. But after a night, we will no longer be outnumbered. We will be outnumbering them because we have two new members tonight of Bulletproof. First, Tama Tonga. Tama Tonga comes out. And then secondly and finally, Yuchiro Takahashi. So Takahashi comes out. They all celebrate in the ring. Bulletproof is size, pretty sizable now, to be honest. And Shane McMahon comes out. He says... Congrats on the two new members, guys. But tonight, AJ, you will be in our main event, teaming up with two of the six men you will face this Sunday, Cesaro and Baron Corbin, to face off against Bray Wyatt and the returning Wyatt family members of Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. Oh, and Yuchiro and Tama, you will face Gallows and Anderson tonight before this Sunday where the Young Bucks will face them for the number one contendership for the tag team titles. And Shane says... Uh, yeah, have a good night, guys, basically. Anyway, let's continue on. Good open, good open. All right, Kevin Owens comes out. Co can always count on Kevin Owens for a good promo. And he says, tonight, I once again have to prove how great I am by facing Drew McIntyre. I mean, can this Sunday get here any sooner so I can get a real challenge for my Intercontinental Championship? I'm afraid your little club, I'm not afraid of your little club there, Kenny. And I'm not afraid of anything, because I'm Kevin Owens, and I'm the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. So Kevin Owens being full of himself, and then he goes on to have a match with Drew McIntyre. Pretty good match, Kevin Owens wins. Um, good wrestling, decent reaction from the crowd, Kevin Owens wins. Got the crowd buzzing. Good, good. But after the match, Omega, Styles, and Finn Balor attack Ke Kevin Owens. And I forgot to write this in here, but I also imagine... Kenny Omega grabs a mic right afterwards and says, Are you afraid of my club now, bro? Or something like that. Whatever. I don't know how Kenny Omega talks. I haven't really listened to him talk that much, but... He looked lost. Okay. Eh. Par for the course. He's just starting out. He's just starting out. Didn't... It, I expected this. Just par for the course. These two are just new here. Anyway, so Hate Factory, which I'm naming the team of Takahashi and Tama Tonga, because I kind of want them to be a team... But anyway, Hate Factory attacks Sandow from behind to begin the gang warfare, Bulletproof, and the Roman Empire. Nikki Bella, she doesn't cut a horrible promo, she gets a pretty good one. Anyway, Bailey, you have no idea who you are facing this Sunday, and that's alright. I realize you're just a little girl and don't know any better, but I'll inform you who you are facing. I am the longest reigning Divas champion in history. Also, I am one of the most influential women on this roster. And finally, I'm the person who will beat Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. But before that, I have to beat you, which I do. This will do this Sunday. And then she has a match with Billy Kay. Nikki Bella wins Lil. And then after the match, Bailey comes out. She chases Nikki Bella away and she grabs a mic. She says, Nikki. Oh, yeah, by the way, great promo from Sasha. Anyway, I got Sasha bite from Bailey. Anyway, Nick, Bailey says, Nikki, you can call me a little girl. In fact, I want you to. Because every time you say that, I realize just how much you look past me. 
And that is a mistake because I'm not anyone to be looked pa- looked past. Your mind shouldn't be on the title going into the Sunday. Your one and only focus should be on me. So Bailey cuts a good promo, a really good promo there. All right, Gals and Anderson come out, cut a promo. I didn't expect much from them promo-wise. This Sunday, Young Bucks, we will prove that not only are we better than you, but we are the best damn tag team in WWE. And also prove this the support... Ugh. Prove the superiority of the Roman Empire. And they go on to have a match with Yujiro and Tama, Hate Factory. Um, subpar wrestling, non-existent crowd heat. Gallus and Anderson defeat Hate Factory in 738 when Carl Anderson defeated Yujiro Takahashi. Um, yeah, Takahashi stood in there with the other guys, but Tama Tonga didn't really. But they'll get there. They'll get there. Anyway, after the match, Young Bucks, Finn, and AJ attack. Gallows and Anderson. Eh. Anyways. Sasha Banks has a match with Summer Rae. And after that match, she gets attacked by Gail Kim. Sasha wins the match against Gail. Both neither great segments. Eh. Anyways, let's see here. So backstage, before the main event, we see the Young Bucks get taken out by the Usos. And then going into our main event tonight, we have not that great of a main event. Not that great of one. AJ was the... Nope, Bray Wyatt was the best in the match. AJ was a close second. Anyway, in a decent re- match, the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan defeated AJ Styles, Cesaro, and Baron Corbin when Bray Wyatt defeated Cesaro by pinfall. Um, good match, good match. And then after the match, Roman Reigns and Kurt Angle come out, attack AJ and Cesaro. Bray Wyatt is gone, leaves or whatever, leaves them to it. And that ends the show. And this show got us really... It did that bad. I used Kenny Omega, Young Bucks, Tama Tonga, and Yujiro Takahashi. Far too much. This show did horrible. <laughs> okay. Note to self. Limit bulletproof. <laughs> limit the bulletproof. For now. I gotta try and build their popularity, but for now, I gotta I gotta limit them a little bit. I probably have done too much too quick with them. Especially introducing Takashi and Tamatonga on the same night. Yeah, that... I, I, I came off my, the, my best show, and I, I'm pretty sure... Ricochet is too small, says Roman Reigns. <laughs> He's too small. Man, that shows I, I'm pretty sure that was my worst show I'm pretty sure that was my worst show let's see here where's history at history 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 management would it be under there no it wouldn't be it'd be under creative right where is history at it's probably staring me right in the face and I'm gonna feel so stupid when I finally see it standing right out at me let's just do this history 68. No, we, we've had worse. Okay, we've had worse. So that's a good sign. <laughs> we've had worse. What was that? 60? Extreme Rules. Yeah, I forgot. Extreme Rules kind of sucked in terms of the grades. And Money in the Bank did better. Battleground didn't do better, but stayed around the same. And what did SummerSlam do? It did better. Okay. So let's hope Rage in the Cage does pretty good. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching again. I will see you guys next time.